Today. Hello, good morning! I, for the second time in Croatia, have put salt in my oatmeal. Not just a little bit of salt, but a lot of bit of salt. And we had to throw it away, and we only had half a banana left. So now I have the banana oatmeal, and Josh just has plain old oatmeal with nothing in it. Gross. We are going to go out into the city of Split. I saw an amazing donut just outside our apartment, but the rule is to eat your oatmeal first. So we're going to do that and then head out and get a donut. This is Earth Radio. What'd you get? A donut. Literally dipped. Like wax chocolate on them? Exactly, that's yeah. what this is like. But this has cream in it. When we checked into our Airbnb, the host told us of a secret beach. If you look down on a map when you walk west side of the city, there's this big park section, it's a big green section. We're going to the north side of that. You can rent some bikes. All right, the bikes are about five bucks an hour per bike, and the beach is a heck of a lot closer than we thought it was, so we're just gonna walk there. When I say secret, I don't mean like nobody knows about it. I mean, it's just the locals that are here. You're not gonna have a bunch of tourists. In fact, we're the only people it seems that don't speak Croatian here at the moment. The chocolate tastes the same as that other donut thing. Oh, it's that waxy chocolate? I didn't get any cream. Uh. That's the worst. When you want cream and you don't get any. You have just a giant donut. Oh yeah. Update. Our donut is just chocolate one. There's no cream. Oh, uh, language barriers. She spoke English. <laughs> it's still a good donut. Just, I was hoping for the creamy feeling. Ah, uh, shoot. Guess we'll have to get another one tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> Update on the update. Take it back again. Look at this cream right here. My very last bite had a little cream in it. <laughs> That's a cream donut. <laughs> so this is the other beach we were told about. But there's barely anybody here. I think it's because it's in shade and it's a little bit farther than the one by the marina. You have to walk quite a ways to get there. A bit more rocky as well. So yeah. this probably it wouldn't be the place where I'd hang out either. No? I'd probably find my own little place and go in it. Like on the rocks or something? Yeah. Like all these other sunbathers? Yeah, I like that. Little nudies? Oh, <laughs> only saw a few nudies. Just to show you guys while visiting Split, the town area is over here. This area here, Old Town and um, the marina and everything. But this whole area is wooded and you can do hikes, you can take bikes, you can rollerblade. It's a huge area for you to just explore and it's outside of the city center. Croatia has so many parks and wooded areas. We spent a good amount of time at the beach. I think it's time to head to the main city. All right, I'll see you later. Josh is too sleepy to go out and see the town. I've got so much work to do that I'm sleepy from working. Yeah, so I'm going all by myself, yo! I'm gonna take a nap and then I'm gonna finish some work that I've gotta do and then Ash is gonna come back and we're gonna go out for like sunset. Yeah, all right. Later, bro. Bye, babe. Girl on the loose. So I don't really have anything planned while I'm out, but I do want to just see the town and I really liked it from last night and haven't seen it during the day. There is a palace that was made by a Roman king um, in the middle of the city. We were there last night, but I didn't um, really get to see it other than it was in the lights and stuff. So I'm um, going to check that out and maybe look for some tennis shoes because I left my other ones that I was trying to take care of, but they just fell apart. My $20 shoes. Um, I left them at the hostel. <laughs> so I went in and out of Zara without spending a cent. You'll be so proud of me. Now I'm walking down the streets of Split and it's just made up of a bunch of just little tiny roads. So 
So I'm looking at shoes and I'm wondering, should I trust when they say that it's like New Balance or Nike? Because I was looking at some New Balance shoes and the sole of it on the inside was coming out. I thought, that can't be New Balance. So you from Croatia, I'm not sure, like, should I trust um, if it says Nike or Adidas or New Balance? And should I pay the price for that brand or should I just not at all? That's my question. Split is the second largest city in Croatia. Zagreb is the first, which is the capital. Now Split was built around an old Roman palace and this is an old church that was part of the palace. Now nowadays it's still used and um, there's a convent right next door uh, where the nuns live, which is really neat. I just came across it and you can actually climb the stairs to go up to the church. I love old things like that that are actually still kept up and that's like the best thing about this palace is that they actually have kept it up it's one of the most kept up palaces in all of Europe I haven't kept my favorite city Venice a secret like I've told you guys many times that's been my favorite so far actually split was owned by the Venetians for quite a long time and it reminds me a lot of Venice I'm having such a fun time going through the streets they're so windy and even that little church I found I can't believe it's just around a corner and there wasn't even anybody there and the nuns just live there I it's so cool. I must like just the little winding roads and the little shops in the um, corners and just getting lost in a city. Now this is the front of the palace. It was old Roman palace and then um, over the years it was converted to other things. Now they use it for a museum as well as um, they have a lot of little shops underneath in different areas of the palace grounds. the old palace you can see it here they actually used it for Game of Thrones in the fourth season these stairs behind me right here go down into the dungeon -y area it's where Khaleesi goes down and her dragons are stored in here I'm in love with these green shutters behind me. They're all on these buildings right here and they're amazing. It just brings a smile to my face because I just love it so much. I think I could live here. Josh says he can live in all the other places. This little small city is where it's at. I'm on my way to get Josh. The sun is going down. Oh, hello. Hi. What you doing? Uh, you woke me up. Now I'm rested for sunset. I guess so. Well, looks like we need to get Josh out of bed. All right, I'm up, I'm awake. Time to get out there and see the sunset. Just in time to come back, finish some more work. Well, more work that I didn't actually get to because I slept for so long. Nice restaurant overlooking the city here. Look at Trying to catch the sunset. We gotta run though. I don't know you guys. That might be as good as it's gonna get. It doesn't clear out. There's no clear space to actually see it. But we're on a nice walk. No drone, because it's still broken, I guess. Alright, that is it. There is there's no other place to see it. It's so bright and red. I don't know if it comes through on film. Never does really. It never seems to be as impressive on but camera. It, it's gorgeous. Yeah. So perhaps not the world's greatest sunset capture that we've done, 
but you get a, you get a, you get a glimpse of it. The whole area here is lit up. It's just gorgeous. There's people walking their dogs. It it just feels really relaxed and homey here. And it's October first, and it's this hot outside. Yeah, I'm in I'm in shorts and a t-shirt, and I'm and I'm warm. Yeah, I'm warm right now. I hope we encourage you guys to get there to travel today. I hope you enjoyed Split, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. I'll get right over. This American life, baby. <laughs> Five hours on a bus. <laughs>